I... I'm groggy. It's investigating time. Part 3-1, investigation time. So, let's investigate, man. Let's just do it. Hopefully we're back playing as Phoenix. February 9th. He's at the hottie clinic. Stop. February 9th, 3.43 a.m. Hottie clinic, intensive care unit. The boy. Yes, finally. No more... No more, uh... No more snub talk from Edgeworth. I'm still up at this hour, reading through the trial record of a certain case. It's the first case my mentor, Mia Fey, had ever handled in a court of law. The horrifying truth that I refuse to accept is holding me hostage here within these pages. God, this writing is so good. The Devil. Devil Hawthorne. Her new name is now Della De De Dahlia Hawthorne. What I have read. I don't want to believe. What is written here? This isn't the Dahlia I knew. After falling into Eagle River, I was somehow miraculously saved. Ooh, maybe? No, she never left her room. Hold on. But I ended up catching a cold that seemed to knock me around the world and back. I feel dizzy. My ears are ringing, my throat burns, and my head is on fire. But, yeah. But I will recover. I have to recover by this afternoon. I have to meet with the most ill-tempered witness imaginable. He agrees. He agrees. But I know that he will be able to help me with him. Somehow. The brother. Yikes. February 9th, 243. Oh my gosh, 11 hours later. Dusky Bridge, Heavenly Hall. Is anything different here besides the bridge? No. You think Phoenix would low-key get PTSD coming back here, man? He was afraid of heights, for the reminder. R tried running across a burning bridge and then falling, what, 40 feet into Eagle River? That's terrifying, man. Okay, I guess the snob does have to come back. That's okay, though. Right. Are you sure you're well enough to be doing this? You still look a little green in the face. Or maybe Viridian, in artist speak. A actually, my fever has gone down quite a bit. Oh, well, how's your temperature now? Only 102.2 degrees, nothing to worry about? Phoenix. Playing the tough guy. I'm I'm in bed if I got that. He's out here in this cold, snowy mountains. Uh, yeah. <coughs> anyway, I read today's trial record. You weren't bad, Edgeworth. Pretty impressive, despite the circumstances. We're not in the clear yet. The main point of contention tomorrow is going to be the murder weapon. Yeah. In the end, the Shichishiro did not deliver the deadly blow. Which means there must be another sword hiding out there that we don't know about. Another sword, huh? Oh, don't you worry about a thing, pal. I'll dig up the murder weapon myself. Or I'll eat my coat. What? Thanks again, Edgeworth. I'll handle things from here. Can, can I get a hug, please? <laughs> that is probably for the best. Actually, I was thinking about paying the old precinct a little visit. There's something I want to look into. And that is... Our client's background. Naturally. You mean Iris, sir? I have the feeling that we've met before. All I want is confirmation, one way or the other. And since I probably won't be getting that from you, I'm sorry, Azure. I bid you adieu, right? Take care. Bye bye. Fade. Well, I guess I should get moving too. Why? Do you need to be somewhere? Oh, yeah. I've got to get to work on this bridge, pal. No way. I'm rigging up something so we can get across the, to the other side. Ah, uh, that's right. 
Mai is still stuck over at the inner temple. Yeah. But don't you worry, pal. As soon as it's all set, you'll be the first to know. Thank you, Gumshoe. <coughs> oh. Alright. I can't... Yeah, okay. Uh, no problem, pal. Just try not to give me that cough of yours, okay? Alright. I'm off. Oh, but... Hang in there, Maya. We'll get you out. I promise. But in the meantime, we've got to continue collecting evidence. Oh, I was early, but whatever. Okay. Uh, this is that good music, dude. You can tell, like, th they they put a lot into this last little episode here. Alright. Uh, PTSD. That thing looks like it's ready to collapse. At least more than it did before. According to Bikini, Eagle Mountain. Eagle Mountain, that's what it's called. Jesus. I totally forgot what it was called. Eagle Mountain, Eagle River, whatever. Eagle Mountain is very prone to earthquakes. Which reminds me. If my memory serves me correctly, Edgeworth isn't exactly a fan of earthquakes. That's interesting. That's interesting. That's fucking interesting, man. Now it really is more of a dusty bridge than a dusky bridge. Facts. That kidnapping incident happened here 11 years ago. So maybe it's cursed, too. I... I yeah. Asgara Temple doesn't have a single private phone line. There aren't any houses in the area, so I guess Bikini is the only one who uses this. I really wish I had brought my cell phone with me. You couldn't have got it... Like, how far away is the hottie clinic from your place? Go get your phone! Or, or is he talking about before? There's a narrow path going off in a different direction than that of the main hall. Looks like someone's taken the effort to write To Heavenly Hall on the signpost. <laughs> Looks like it's about 20 yards to that cliff over there, but I can't see the inner temple from here. I really hope Maya's okay. Yeah, me too. Me too, man. <laughs> well, you haven't been to Heavenly Hall yet, I was gonna say. February 9th, Heavenly Hall. Nani? Looks like no one's here. Larry! Loris! Ah, oh, I was sure he'd be hiding here. Yeah, facts. If he was gonna answer to anything, bro, it was gonna be Loris. Just wanted to make sure that was working. Guess I'll try again later. Well, I don't think there's any need to examine anything here for now, but like... Look at this graffiti scrawled right on the front of the shack. At least he managed to get a pretty good likeliness. When I really think about it, I guess art kind of suits him. I mean, his very existence is an art. Of sorts. Got him. Oh wow, that was the whole thing. The snow is really piled up on the straw roof. It's otherworldly. Like something out of a fairy tale. Well, the roof part, anyway. The sign says Heavenly Hall. I guess it's pretty fitting. If you spent a night in this little freezing shack, you'd probably find yourself at the pearly gates by morning. What? <laughs> That's Dusky Bridge up there. It's amazing how clearly you can see it from so far away. Larry supposedly saw everything through the shack's window. Not much light gets down here, so it must be pitch black at night. But this area was probably illuminated that night because of the burning bridge above. Yeah, and the lightning, maybe? This is the famous Eagle River. I got to try out its rough rapids the other night. They say it has a really strong current, and they weren't kidding. <laughs> it's both powerful and fast-flowing. I was dead lucky. I mean, lucky not to be dead. Wait, what is his fascination with, like, country flags, bro? This stuff is really ruining the beautiful atmosphere around here. It's so inappropriate. Like, sister bikini in a bikini. Ugh. Gotta think of the kittens. What? Well, let's, let's, yeah, let's go back. Let's go back. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, to the main gate. February 9th, Hazakura Temple. Main gate. Come on, please! It's for the art's sake, I swear! There's only one guy I know who could be at this persistent, who could be this persistent and high strung. I'm talking about the heroine here! The heroine in my book! It'll make you famous! <laughs> Be still, my heart. How old is she now? 
19. That makes sense, bro, because, like, she was 18, uh, in Justice for All, and I guess that was just last year. Hi, Franziska. Enough. Oh, here we go. Ready? A fool's fool fools fools who foolishly accept the foolishness of a fool's fool. Wouldn't you agree, Phoenix Wright? Huh? Me? W wait a second. I, I know you. You're... Ow. Your reflexes and mind need to shape up. My brain's frying like a sunny side up and you want to grill me over a name. Franzi, you can't do that. Even as we speak, Nick's on the brink of death. Or so I'm told. Whip a dead horse. Isn't that one of your American sayings? No, it's not. And I'm not on the brink of anything. I only have 102.2 degree fever, that's all. Come on, Nick. Tell her, would you? Tell her she needs to model for my new picture book, Franzi's Whippity Whip Trip. <laughs> Before you ask me to model, learn to give at least... Mm, learn to give at least semi-coherent testimony. And before that, you'll have to learn how to live a semi-coherent life, Larry. <laughs> Larry's like, fuck you guys, I'm out of here. <laughs> well, I don't care what anyone says. I'm telling the truth. I saw what I saw. She flew, I'm telling you. Whoosh, just like that dude with the red underwear. Don't think I'm gonna forgive you guys when you come crawling back to apologize. Yeah, okay, bud. <sighs> Off he goes. Mm. Mm. We're all alone. Hmm. It's amazing how little has changed you within the past year, Phoenix Wright. Uh, hello. Have you been in Germany all this time? That's right. Extending my perfect win record. Naturally. Yeah, over in Germany, of course, am I right? Am I right? Has it really been a year since we first met? Hmm. I am Franziska von Karma, the prodigy. I... see. I gave up a promising career in Germany and came to this country for one sole reason. Revenge. Yes. Franziska was born and raised in Germany, and she became a prosecutor at the age of 13, somehow. Her father was the don't sh her father was the legendary prosecutor Manfred von Karma, aka Wilson Fisk. He had perfect win record for forty long years, but now he is gone from this world. He didn't die, did he? Don't tell me you still hold a grudge against me because of what happened to your father. Phoenix Wright, you will fall before me. This I promise. Mm, insert dirty joke here. But it will be for my sake, not my father's. Are we clear? Yes, Crystal. In truth, I was shocked. I came back to America with the intention of defeating you. Instead, it was my little brother who was leading the defense. He is older than you. Stop. Edgeworth. Come to think of it, Edgeworth was pulled into being a prosecutor by that disgusting man on the right side as well. Miles Edgeworth told me something very interesting, you know. He said this case has a special significance to you. Because it does. And that's precisely why I am here. Your personal involvement will make crushing you... Mm, will make crushing you into teensy-weensy little pieces all the better. It's probably the fever, but... She's so openly hostile that it's almost kind of cute. <laughs> Ow. No smirking. No whipping the sick. Come on, quid pro quo, bro. That foolish fool doing such a foolish favor for such a foolishly foolish fool. Edgeworth. Make no mistake, Phoenix Wright. I came here for one thing and one thing only. To pulverize you. It's not like I thought you were here to bring me some cold killer X, you know. Some stamina X. Some Torner. Yakuza. I went over the whole case file on my flight over. You read the whole thing? Yes. Every last word of every last sentence of every last paragraph. All the ridiculous things you did make it a very interesting read, you know. Attempting to cross a burning bridge. Did you even consider the dangers? 
No. The only thought on my mind was I have to get across. I have to save Maya. <laughs> a fool who doesn't think it more foolish than a fool who is foolishly thinks. Uh, you just said he'd let me know once the bridge was repaired. Maya. She's gotta be okay. I just know it. Plus, I need to ask her about what really happened at the inner temple that night. Facts! We also need to find pearls, bro! Is no one worried about the nine-year-old girl that's missing? Look at my badge. Okay. I refuse to help you, Phoenix Wright. Yeah, I should have known better than to try. What if I present her her profile? Really? Wow, she doesn't even want to talk about herself. That's weird. No, not Larry. Not Edgeworth. Okay, she, you know what? She just straight up said she refused to help me, so let's not even try. Um... Yeah, let's go to the main hall. Uh, if anything, we're gonna run into Sister Bikini. Hmm. <laughs> oh. That was one long sigh. <laughs> um, Sister Bikini? Ma, ma, ma! I didn't know you were here! How are you doing? <laughs> um, you don't have to pretend to be in a good mood for my sake. I... I suppose I've made a terrible mess of things, haven't I? I let Mystic at least die. And then there's Iris as well. Mystic at least? How did I think about it? Hmm. There's an acolyte stuck at the inner temple. And that poor little girl has gone missing too. I seem to be the only one that worries about her. That little girl? Y you don't mean pearls, do you? Yes, I'm afraid I do. She hasn't been seen since the morning after the incident. Pearls? She's missing? Why didn't anyone tell me about this? I thought he knew, to be honest. I was wondering about this. My badge. Hmm, let me see. Well, as you may know, in order to see reality for what it truly is, we strive to break our t You know what? Uh, she said this before. Okay, let's just talk. I must be getting old. I think I've seriously lost faith in myself. Are you talking about your performance at the trial today? You believe me, don't you? I I'm not a liar. I would never lie. <laughs> that's, that's a horrible picture, but it's so funny. I know what I saw. I saw Iris pull that sword from Mystic Elise's body that night. I'm certain of it. At least, I was until this morning. God, these people have long days, man. What time is it? 4.34? No. 3.43? 2.43? It's, it's almost like 3 o'clock, dude. The trial was held at like 10 a.m. I don't see any psychologues, so she must be telling the truth. Um. Uh. Ooh, do you think it's this? Do you think it's the, uh, the hood thing that could po potentially repel, um... Cyclox from showing up for them? She could be lying straight up. Because the Cyclox only appeared on Iris when her thing was off, correct? I could be completely wrong about that, but... Well, we will see. Um, so why are you so unsure of yourself all of a sudden? You know that artist who testified after me? I saw Iris flying. Her hood, her white hood went fluttering. I felt like I might start flying myself. When I saw that man testify so fervently about something so impossible, I started to wonder if I had acted just like him when I was on the witness stand. I wouldn't take that guy too seriously. Trust me. He's an artist, but all he draws is trouble and nothing else. Uh, that's so good. This writing is... If both Bikini and Larry are telling the truth, it can only mean one thing. They both didn't see what they think they saw. Right. Okay, that's been a thing ever since the first game. They could be saying what they really genuinely think they saw. 
So they're not lying. They're just... It's not true. On the night of the incident, you met Iris at the Inner Temple. Is that correct? That's right! I'm sure it was Iris! But Iris claimed she was in her room in Hazakura Temple. I knew I shouldn't have come back here that night! But because you did, Maya is stuck all by herself at the Inner Temple. Ugh. I am so sorry. The drafts in that place are nothing to shake a stick at. Winter is especially bad. Yeah, I'll bet. The training hall looks like it's about to fall down any second. Eagle Mountain has always been prone to earthquakes, just so you know. Earthquakes? Yes. I wouldn't be surprised if the next big one levels the training hall. We've got to get Maya out of there. Fast. But still, there's, there's really no need to worry. That area on the other side of Dusky Bridge is isolated like an island. It's like an island? How so? Well, the only thing on that side of the bridge is the inner temple. No one lives out there and it's surrounded on all sides by the river or the forest. I see. So a criminal would be trapped... So a criminal would be trapped should they choose to flee in that direction. Uh, why would you say this? What? And as long as the bridge is out of commission, he or she will have to stay there. What are you trying to say? That means Maya could be stuck out there with a murderer and with no way of escape either? Oh dear! Yes, I suppose it does! Uh, please, Gumshu, get that bridge built fast. He says I'm working as fast as I can, pal. I am putting this bridge back together with my own two hands. I'm curious about a few things, if you don't mind answering some questions. Oh? Do you need to know my measurements for your investigation or something? No. I want to know a little bit more about the victim, Miss Elise Dunham. I'm afraid I don't know her waist size. <laughs> well, her bust size, for that matter. No. I'm wondering why she came to stay in a place like this to begin with. I mean, she told us herself that she wasn't here for spiritual training. My, my, my! You make it sound like this place is some sort of a dump, Mr. Rye. Mystic Elise was here to soak up the natural beauty of Eagle Mountain, if you must know. There. You did it again. Sister Bikini. I noticed you always refer to Miss Dunham as Mystic Elise. <gasps> Oh, how did I not catch up on that, bro? She is literally just an author. She's not a, a spirit medium or anything. She's not a mystic. Yes, she is, though, if my theory is correct. Oh! Yes. Now, why is that? After all, she's not here as an acolyte. We address all of our visitors as mystic. It makes their experience feel authentic. And anyway... Well, she's older than me. You must respect your elders, you know. How do you know that? How can you say for sure that she's older than you? Oh, she's got the full clip. No way. Hmm. It seems Miss Elise Dunham was no ordinary visitor after all. And there's pearls. She was with Miss Dunham on the evening of the murder, and now she's vanished. It's all gotta be connected somehow. Major, we have a problem on our hands. Okay, at least Dunham. Why did Pearls have to get mixed up in this mess? P please, Mr. Rod! I know you're worried, but try to keep it together! Oh man. My head's throbbing so bad it's killing me. This lady is murdering me. Pearls. She was with Miss Dunham on the night of the murder, remember? Yes, but I have a temple to run, you know. I was busy preparing for the training. I didn't see the little darling even once, even once after we'd finished eating dinner. The murder. It 
didn't take place right in front of her innocent eyes, did it? No, because it didn't take place in Hasgora Temple, bro. It took place over by Dusky Bridge. According to the detective, she hasn't turned up at her home either. Come on, keep calm. There's one place left where pearls could be. She just has to be there. Come on, Gumshoe. Tell me you'll be done with the repairs soon. Okay. Let us see what her thing is about, and then we will go. Take that! Take that! Alright. God, you got the... Uh, okay. This is slightly intimidating, to be honest. At least, Dunum. Sister Bikini. The truth is becoming increasingly clear to me. I'm convinced that Miss Elise Dunum had a special significance to this temple. As to why she had a special significance, I believe it has to do with her true identity. Let's figure it out, dude. What on earth are you talking about? She... she was... M Mystic Elise was an author. Just an author of picture books. To be honest, I had my suspicions almost immediately after I met her. Suspicions? Yes, but I didn't have any evidence to support my theory, though. But now I do. This piece of evidence proves Miss Dunham's... Miss Dunham's true identity. Okay. Well, Sister Bikini, what do you have to say to my false evidence? Of course. I don't know why it didn't hit me before. Your heart. It's impure. It's riddled with wickedness and fallacies. Huh? That's why you keep coming up with these funny ideas. I recommend Mystic Elise's book, The Magic Bottle, for your for a man in your condition. The Magic Bottle? It doesn't have a childproof cap on it. She was a wonderful author and illustrator. That's all, I swear. To be honest, I had my suspicions almost immediately after I'm- Okay, wait. Um, but now I do. This- this piece of evidence proves Miss Dunham's true identity. Uh, okay. Alright. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather some more clues before I try again. I agree. Well, we're moving. Uh, the courtyard? Hello? Some more investigating, maybe? <clears throat> yeah, because Phoenix was here... No, Phoenix wasn't here. Edgeworth was here. But frankly, we already have all the evidence. So Phoenix has to find more. February 9th, Hosgore Temple Courtyard. This is where his Sister Bikini witnessed the incident. It's hard to imagine she was lying on the stand, so... Maybe there are some clues that have yet to be found. I did not mean- my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, her cane is very important, dude. They wouldn't have that there for nothing. Yeah. Or staff, whatever you want to call it, dude. It's called a cane, bro, okay? You cannot tell me that does not look like Sly Cooper's gate. Miss Dunham's staff. I definitely remember there being a crystal sphere attached to the staff. I guess Larry eventually found the sphere near the foot of Dusky Bridge, but... What was it doing all the way out there? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> the Shichishido. It's there in Mystic Ami's right hand. But it was proven in court today that it wasn't the murder weapon. Gassy, gassy. Given the design, it must have been used for some pretty gruesome things in the past. <clears throat> the main gate's on the other side of that stone wall. The difference in elevation is almost ten feet. That's how steep this hillside is. And that's also the height of the body fell from, according to the autopsy report. Is it possible that Ms. Dunham was pushed from the top of the wall? Interesting. <laughs> they get quite a bit of snow up here on Eagle Mountain. Around here, skis aren't just for fun. They're tools for getting around. But the sled, well, that's gotta be for Bikini's own personal entertainment. Uh, yeah, this is her room, right? Yeah. No, it's the main hall? Oh. That building up there is the main hall. It was where we were staying. It sits kind of funny because it was built on a very steep slope. You enter from the main gate side. You enter from the main gate side. These rooms above me are on the ground floor. Apparently, Miss Dunham, Miss Dunham, was staying up in the corner room. I guess that's where she was pushed from that night. 
There's so much to investigate here, brother. There are a few of those stone lanterns scattered around in this courtyard that the city glared to compete with. I imagine they would seem a lot brighter. I guess Sister Bikini must light them now since Iris can't be here. Is that it? Um... Oh my god, man. I didn't know the, the Lego City population was here. Hey! What was that jarring, inconsiderately loud yell? So this is where you've been. Keeping nice and warm, I see. Detective, have you finished the bridge? Yeah, I did. I told you I'd let you know. Well, well, well. Then I'll come along with you and... Sorry, ma'am. No authorized entry. Access is restricted to people involved in the case. What was that? I'm involved, aren't I? You couldn't get much more involved than me. Well, yeah, but that's not what I- ah. Oh my god, dude. It's been a while, Screffy. Uh, it's... Miss v v v v Von Karma. Yeah, I knew him. Yeah, he fell. Sister, please, leave the investigation to me. Hmm. Franz Liska has some, has some big, insert whatever word you think is plausible here, energy. My, my, my! Well, you certainly seem to have everything under control. I am on your side. I won't do anything you don't want me to. As you work to pin the guilt on Iris. Is she whipping herself, bro? What are you daydreaming about, Phoenix Wright? Ow! That hurts you. I'm sick, bro. Leave me alone. Silence. I, Francisca von Karma, will personally guide you through your investigation. So you will follow me. She's not seriously going to follow me around, is she? No, she's going to grab you by the hand and drag you around, which I would like nothing more. Uh, so let's move. Let's go to the main game. Move. Let's go to the suspension bridge. Look at Gumshoe putting in work, bro. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Finally. God, we're back at the inner temple. Is anything different right off the bat? No? Are there snowmobile tracks anywhere? Because I had that theory in the courtroom, I think. February 9th, inner temple gate. Things have certainly become a lot more hectic than before. It must have commenced with the investigation. Oh, Mr. Nick! That, that voice? Pearls! Hug! Hug Pearls! Bro, I am hugging that little girl and I am never letting her go, bro. She was stuck over here for like, what, two days? One day? Almost two days. Pearls! Mr. Nick! Mr. Nick! Oh. Are you okay? So you were here ever since that night. I was so lonely. I thought I was going to die. Where's Maya then? When I woke up in the morning and saw that dusky bridge was gone, I I realized I was all alone. She was all alone? Where's Maya? Must have been very tight. <laughs> It must have been very trying for you, little girl. Huh? You're... I am Franziska von Karma, the prodigy. There's no need for you to worry. There's no need to worry now that I'm here. You're the prosecutor who was so mean to Mystic Maya last year. Well... I... I... Do <laughs> I don't like you. You're nothing but a little girl without your whip. <laughs> what? Mystic Maya didn't do anything wrong, but you were so mean. I'll never forgive you. I... 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 <laughs> Looks like Pearl's words are getting under her skin. Ooh. Do you need a hug? Ow! Why are you whipping me? I didn't even say anything. You didn't have to. The smile on your lips gave you away. Uh-huh. Anyway, Pearls. 
Weren't you with Maya? Huh? I'm sorry. It... Oh my god, bro. Just tell me the truth. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Huh? What are you talking about, Pearls? I... 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 Mystic Maya! Pearls! She just ran off. What? That was cruel, Phoenix Wright. To make a little girl cry like that is inexcusable. What was that all about? Pearls acting like that. It's giving me the creeps. Right, where's Maya? I guess I'd better take another look around since I finally got a chance. Especially since something about this place seems different from two days ago. Um, the incinerator was used. Yeah. Okay, this is different. Yeah, there's... Phoenix Wright. What? Would you stop calling me by my full name like that, please? Was this once a pro mm -hmm. Was this once a prosperous port? What? A port? Yes, that metal hook is a mooring post for boats, you know. Oh, that. That's an anchor for one of the wires that is used to hold up the bridge. I think the wire that was tied to this one probably snapped when the bridge was burning down. I mean, there's no way there was ever a port all the way up here. Don't get smart with me, Phoenix Wright. But I didn't say anything! Jeez, man. Look at all the Buddha statues lined up along this path. Phoenix Wright. Do you think this is how many siblings the head nun has? What? Why don't you at- Why did my mouth show up for a second there? Why don't you ask her that the next time you- Why don't you ask her that the next time you see her? You know what? I think I will. She'll probably slap you for prying into her private affairs. We, dude, uh, this investigation is getting nowhere so far. You can see Dusky Bridge from here. It's an unusually long bridge, isn't it? I would say it's about 20 yards. I guess the gorge is too wide to cross with a piece of rope or wire, huh? Therefore, no one has crossed the gorge in either direction since the night of the murder. A simple yet sound deduction, wouldn't you say, Phoenix Wright? I guess. There's a weird smell coming from that incinerator. The door is almost... the door is also open. Almost like it's begging me to look inside. Well, well. Let's see what stunning clue is concealed in here, shall we? Huh? It's empty. What? <clears throat> How naive of you, Phoenix Wright. But it's a bit strange, don't you think? Franziska von Karma? I seem to remember. It was covered before, and the Buddha statues were not covered in blankets, so I don't gotta worry about that. Really, the only thing that's different here is the cable that supports the bridge is snapped, or burned, what have you, and the incinerator was used. There was snow on this incinerator the first time I saw it. In other words, someone's been using it to burn something recently. Listen, Phoenix Wright. It's impertinent to call people by their full name. I was only copying you. Leave me alone, please. There's a little gate that leads into the garden. It says no entry on the sign, though. Come now, Phoenix Wright. What are you doing? Let's go in. It's half open anyway. What harm could come of it? But it says no entry. Don't you Americans enjoy doing whatever you like and then simply say whatever? Yes. It's got nothing to do with anything. And who told you that? Common sense, bro. That's what it said. The sign says inner temple. I don't know how you're reading it, but it's in incomprehensible to me. Actually, I can't read it either. Feigning comprehension isn't very good habit to have, Phoenix Wright. Yeah, she looks really happy to have finally caught me on something. Okay, the gate. This must be the door that leads to the inner temple, where Maya Fey was training on the night of the murder. Yes, there's a solitary room there called the training hall. You could do it some training yourself, Phoenix Wright. Ow. You're completely out of shape. I'm sick. I don't know how much more of this woman I can take. Mm. Leave her to me. Oh my gosh, sometimes I just completely forget how to play this game. 
My... what? What? Okay, immediately, there's a lock on what looks like the prison door, right? Even though it's not. And, and, uh, the Misty Face Scroll is smeared, bro. With what? That looks like doo-doo, if I'm being completely honest with you. February 9th, Inner Temple Hall, Training Hall. What's wrong? Why are you so quiet? Maya. She was supposed to be in here training. Yet it appears she's nowhere to be seen. Is that not worrying to you? What's that? Strange lock. Wasn't there two days ago. This whole room is really giving off some strange vibes. Hmm. This door. When I was here two days ago, that weird lock wasn't on it. Those chains. It's almost as if they're guarding something inside that cavern. I've never seen a lock quite like this before. I have. I've seen locks and chains just like this before. They look just like the ones that guard a person's secrets during a psych lock. A psycho lock. I wonder if this lock is guarding something too. Dark secrets in a dark cavern. What happened here? What do you think this yellowish poster is, Phoenix Wright? It's a scroll, not a poster. It's a picture of a woman who's actually... A woman? I don't see any woman here. Just shit stains. There's a different atmosphere in this room since the last time I was here. No. It's not a different... <laughs> it's not a different atmosphere. It's a different smell. It's gravy. Oh! You mean, like, dinner? From the Hazakura Temple Main Hall, bro? What's the matter? This scroll. It's been completely covered in gravy. Ah, yes, of course. There is a very appetizing smell in the air. But gravy is a type of sauce. So when you run out of paint, you Americans use gravy as a substitute, I see. What? No, no one does that. For starters, it stinks. This must be the gravy that we all- that we had at the roast at the night of the incident, right? But why would anyone do this? Why this scroll? Hanging scroll, Misty Faye's image is obscured in gravy. By gravy, sorry. What took you so long? He heard Phoenix got out of the hospital, and said, Well, looks like it's my turn. Damn it, man. I thought even you'd managed to get here faster than this, Mr. Trait. Prosecutor Godot. I didn't know you were here. Where, where, where were you hiding in this tiny-ass room, dude? Prosecutor? How come you didn't show up at the trial today? Heh. <laughs> I could ask you the exact same question. Huh? But I was... I had a cold, so... I had something slightly more important than a common cold to deal with. The importance of which is something you have no hope of ever understanding. Enough. I believe I have the measure of you. You are the very worst kind of prosecutor. What could be more important than a trial? <laughs> Goda look, he is like, who the fuck are you? He's the wild marriage, right? This is Miss Von Karma. She was the acting prosecutor in your absence today. <laughs> well, I guess I have you on that. But you can go now, princess. It's time for the big boys to take the reins. Just who do you think you are? This case is my- Hey, Philly. Know your role and shut your mouth. Can't stand women like you. No way, Godot Sextus? I didn't know that. 
Sexist, not sextist. Only going to say this once, Lady Von Whipper... Whippingberg. Go home. V, next, right. What are you hitting me for, man? Come on, I'm on your side. <laughs> you deserve more cracks of the whip than that, right? What? You still don't get it, do you? You don't realize that you've set something in motion that you'll never be able to undo. There's something different about Goda today. Getting such a strong sense of something from behind that mask of his. Is it anger? Or is it sorrow? <laughs> Okay, um, just present the badge, just because, um, Godot, <laughs> this is my first time speaking with you outside of the courtroom, would you mind taking a look at this? <laughs> my eyes have a date with the horizon, they're flirting with the gulls. I don't have any intention of aiding a defense attorney like you, Trite. But you must help him, even just a little. Yeah, look who's talking. I had no idea such a smooth refusal could make me so angry. Alright, just talk to him, bro. You had some important business, and that's why you weren't in court, huh? So what was it? I've told you once before, but perhaps you don't remember. I've returned from the depths of hell to do battle with you. You see, Trite, I've experienced something most have not. Death. You... died? Of course. Being extradited from hell is a tedious affair. The meticulous regeneration and adjustment of all your internal organs is... Well, let's just say modern medicine allows us all to live to a ripe old age. Even someone like me. So, you mean, that mask you wear is... this ugly device? <laughs> I promise it's not a fashion statement, my unenlightened friend. Without this, I can't see your frequently dumbfounded face. I... I didn't know. My eyesight is pretty messed up. Even with these huge goggles on my head, I still can't see everything. Still. I keep this worn-out piece of junk of body going with regular servicing. You mean coffee? I'm sorry, but... You say you've experienced death? How is that possible? What happened? Why don't you ask him? Huh? M me Is this actually Doug Swallow? Yeah, that's right. You... You should know all about it! You know when my life ended, and who ended it for me? W well, Phoenix Wright, do you? I don't know what he's talking about. Although, to be honest, I do feel a little tug at the corner of my memory. I think I do know about how Godot was killed. What? It will all become clear in due time. Isn't that right, Trite? Okay, <laughs> to a different topic now. Earlier, you said, I've done something I can never undo. What did you mean by that exactly? The inner temple here on this side of Dusky Bridge is an isolated island. That's what Sister Bikini said too. I wonder, Trite. Do you know what the police are doing here <clears throat> today? What do you mean? They're searching. Searching for any trace of an acolyte who went missing. Missing? As leader of the search party, I can tell you this with absolute certainty. Maya Fey is not on this side of Dusky Bridge.
Mm. It is moments like this I play this for, dude. Huh? But, but that's impossible. She came here that night and... I won't say it again. The chances of her being here are nil. Excluding, of course, one very unique place. One? Where's that? The sacred cavern. The entrance of which we are now standing at right now. So you're saying she is here, dumbass. This is the, this is the only place that the search party has yet to explore. So they haven't searched that cavern yet, huh? But beware though, that the temperature inside frequently falls below freezing. Even if she were in there, the chances of her being found alive are slim at best. No! Which means, Trite, that you sent my fae to her death. You fool! If that's the situation, why aren't you in there right now with a search party? You must have blinders on, my equ equestrian angel. Don't you see the big lock in chains? It's a trick lock. I'm making preparations to open it as we speak. Well, Trite, once again, a woman dies because of you. Once again? As in, it's either happened before or he's just repeating himself. God, the writing in this game is too good. Once again? What are you talking about? Don't tell me you've forgotten. Is he talking about Mia? It wasn't Phoenix's fault, bro. Come on, man. It was only two years ago, after all. When the last unfortunate woman died because of you. Because of me. And do you know who that was? It was Maya Faye's sister. That's right, Mia Faye. Mia? You killed her. Is that really all this grudge is about, bro? Let me settle this for you right here. You ever hear of a man called Red White? <laughs> it was two years ago. Mia Faye was pursuing someone. A man. But she bit off more than she could chew. She made a very dangerous enemy. Yeah, that's one case I'll never forget. But I got that guy, personally. Sure, Mia Fey's murderer was caught, but that won't bring her back. Well, no, but... You were with her at the time, you and no one else. It was your responsibility. You should have protected her. I... You say Mia Fey was your teacher. Well then, I'd say you learned nothing, Trite. You robbed her of her life, and now, you've let her sister suffer the same fate. Godot is angry today, dude. I feel it. Holy shit. I... I haven't sentenced Maya to death. No. Okay, on to a different topic again. What's with this peculiar looking lock? Why don't we just break it open? It would be a simple matter of... I'm afraid we can't do that. This area has been prone to earthquakes. The repeated tremors have weakened the foundations of the training hall. Any excessive force used to break the lock open would... Well, let's just say the inner temple in the sacred cavern would be a thing of the past. Very well, then. Very well. Then dare I suggest the obvious solution of opening it with a key? Ha! <laughs> sure. Show me where the key is on this trick lock. Th there's no keyhole? That's right. An interesting puzzle, huh? The person who set this lock is the only one who can open it. Then who was it? Simple. The accused. What? Iris? When an acolyte undergoes training inside the sacred cavern, the attending sister is responsible for locking the entrance lock. Obviously, the night of the murder was no exception. Maya Fey was to train in there. Sister Bikini did mention it a number of times now that I think about it. She said that Iris was left in charge of supervising the early stages of the training. Alright, it's been an hour already. So Iris, 
the accused is the only one who can open this lock. I've arranged for her to be brought here now. Iris is the only person who can open this lock? I hope she gets here soon. Hang on in there, Maya. We'll get you out. So, I should be getting back to work. Wait, Godot. How sure about Maya are you? There's no doubt in my mind. She's in the sacred cavern somewhere. It's the only place she could be. You better start praying. You better pray that friend of yours brings the accused back here soon. Edgeworth? Listen up, Trite. There's only one thing I want to say to you before I go. I'll never accept you. Never. Nani? This man has some deep cuts with me that, frankly, I think are so ignorant, bro. If it's really because Maya died, Mia, whatever. He, need, he needs to, like, go over his facts again, bro. Facts. You should choose your friends more carefully, Phoenix Wright. That's what everyone says. Looks like I don't have much of a choice. Guess I'll just have to do what I can for now. Alright. Well, let's keep moving. I don't know. Should I? Or shouldn't I? Sounds like someone's talking to himself. Himself. But, where's that coming from? Oh, it's Gumshoe. Why did I think that was a lot of heart, bro? Yeah, I'd better wash that off. That's what I'll do. N no, but I can't do that. I'm a detective. Ugh, my brain. This is driving me nuts. Ah! Is something troubling you, Scruffy? Please don't whip me like that all of a sudden, sir. It was merely a simple greeting, a friendly tap on the shoulder, with my whip. So what's up, Gumshoe? Is something on your mind? Uh, 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 how did you know, pal? Perhaps you were trying to decide. Perhaps you were trying to decide if you were- what? Perhaps you were trying to decide if you- Is that another typo, Capcom? Come on, guys. P perhaps you were trying to decide if you wanted to wash that off or not? Uh, how did you know that, sir? Oh, yeah. Uh-uh, I nearly forgot. You can't go through that little gate there, okay? You mean the one that says no entry on it? I, I um, kinda already snuck in there. Is he trying to be clever or something? <laughs> what? So what's behind there, Scruffy? Huh? Uh, a uh, kind of garden-like garden. A garden? Yeah. Anyway, it's under investigation right now, so... Keep out. I'm not telling you. I'm asking you, pal. You got me? Isn't it normally the other way around? Well, I'll see you later. Bye. So, shall we adjourn to this garden, Phoenix Wright? Of course. What else would we do? I really want to know what Gumshoe was thinking of washing off. That just straight up says Maya, bro. What the hell is going on here, bro? What is going on here, man? That's a lantern, no? There's a broom. Um, there is something in the snow there. Yikes. February 9th, Inner Temple Garden. There's a strange feeling in the air. I wonder what it is. Strange feeling. Forget about that. What's that strange writing on the stone lantern, huh? Ah! Uh, what are you doing here, sir? Uh, I thought I said you can't come in here. Don't you know, Scruffy? Avant Karma will always show up whenever there's a clue. And there are plenty of clues to be found here. B but do 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 Hey, look, it's my attorney's badge. Ah, uh, <laughs> good one, pal. You're always good for a laugh with your little badge. But a real man, a real man has a police badge. Fuck you, then. I might as well talk to him, yeah. So how's the Inner Temple investigation going? Oh, we have the best forensic team in the world working right now. Forensic team? 
And what was the outcome of this scientific study? Well, nothing. Scientifically speaking, the place is as clean as a whistle. That's simply not good enough, Scruffy. Don't you think... Do you think I'll let you get away with that? Uh-oh. <laughs> well, there were a couple of things that bothered me when I first got here, sir. Oh, it takes a second for me to get used to his voice, sir. This has to open up right here. This feels like it has to be expanded, and that it is very hard to keep it that way. 80% of this text is read. That stone lantern, and the surrounding area that's not covered in snow. Correct? That was okay, that was Von Karma anyway. That stone lantern, and the surrounding area that's not covered in snow, correct? Well, they start... They started... They... Oh my god, they looked kind of fishy to me, you know, scientifically speaking. So I got the lab boys to look them over. The results were... Well, it's kind of hard to say, actually. I guess I better look into them myself. Um, about Maya. Oh, um... Did Mr. Go not tell you yet? Yes, we heard. Yes, we heard. He's got a search party out looking for her. But there's nowhere else she could have disappeared. Two, on this side of Dusky Bridge. All we can do is wait for Mr. Edgeworth to get here, pal. Edgeworth? He's escorting Iris, the defendant over here. We'll have to wait since she is the only one who can open the door to the sacred cavern. Oh, I think Mr. Edgeworth wants to talk to you about something too, pal. Huh? I wonder what it is. Uh, just don't be expecting any good news when you talk to him. When I spoke to him, Mr. Edgeworth sounded so down, I felt like I was drowning. It sounds... pleasant. Okay. Examine what is this, man? Who wrote Maya's name like that? This reminds me, low-key, of... Danganronpa spoilers. Danganronpa spoilers. This reminds me of how Sayaka wrote Leon's name, right? It's upside down. Who the hell would write it like that? That makes no sense to me, dude. What the heck is that? Oh... You spotted it, huh, pal? Are you kidding me? It couldn't be more obvious. It's right there. It says... Maya. Yeah. And before you ask, it's written in blood. DNA test, please? You will answer all of our questions now, Scruffy. Without exception. Y yes sir. What is this? What is that? There's a charm or something poking out from the snow. Looks pretty old. There is a leather cord tied to it. Apparently, it belonged to the victim. To Miss Elise Dunham. Yeah, there was a broken leather cord around the lady's neck. The ends of the cords found on both the victim and this charm match exactly. Sounds to me like... This little trinket is going to be my ticket to getting some very big answers. <gasps> oh! Oh! Yes! Oh my gosh, I didn't even recognize the symbol until I read the title of this piece of evidence, dude. Alright, yeah, hell yeah. So this basically confirms her identity as Misty Fay. No shot. Worn by Elise Dunham, found in the Garden of the Inner Temple, Curane Master's Talisman. That's so sad, bro. That really is. But, I gotta find out who killed this lady, man. I didn't even click on the lantern, but okay. A little lantern. A little statue. It is certainly a quaint little garden. Oh. Sounds like somebody is scratching my door. What's this huge bowl here for? Oh, I know this one. It's, um, it's a water bowl, isn't it? Everything else is completely frozen over, but the ice in this bowl has been broken. That's true. I wonder if this has any impact on the case. 
Um, well, I, uh, I doused my face earlier with the water in this. I was kind of getting sleepy. Go! Next time you're sleepy, you need only- you need only come to me. Got it? Yeah, okay. Oh, that broom, too. I keep forgetting about that broom. There are a couple of torches here, if you can't see. I guess you need all the light you can get up here in the mountains. Yeah, I was looking at those things, too, pal. It looks like they've been lit pretty recently. Recently? How recent are we talking about? How recent are we talking about? As recent as the night of the murder. Maya was training here on the night of the murder. It's not unreasonable to think that these things were lit up at the time, I guess. What? The broom is not examinable? What? Well, this is odd. There's no snow on the ground here. And it's almost perfect rectangle. It couldn't have happened naturally. Yes, it appears as though someone has carefully cleared away the snow. No doubt it was you, wasn't it, Scruffy? Uh, no, it wasn't me, sir. It was already like that when my men and I got here to start the investigation. If it wasn't the police, then who did it? Oh, yeah, there's something I need to tell you. Just between the three of us, okay? Uh, huddle up now. What is it? It's top secret. You can't tell anyone got it. You heard the music, right? It went down. So, that means this is super important. Understood. Well, when I was a kid, I got knocked out of the local wrestling contest, you see. I was so disappointed. I just picked up my mouth guard and cried all the way home. Man, I got in so much trouble when I left it on the couch. Is that it? Well, that's it. Whoever cleared the snowway must have had a reason. Although I can't even begin to imagine what that reason could be. Right, yeah, well that's everything here, yes or no? That thing must have been worn by the victim. There's no other way of looking at it. Okay, then that means she was over here, no? That means she was over here, or someone took that shit off her neck, and brought it over here. I'm looking at Sister Bikini, bro. I am looking at Sister Bikini, bro. No, but it was proven that Elise Dunham was by the foot of Dusky Bridge, potentially, because that's where the sphere of her cane was found, or staff, or whatever you want to call it. This sucks. Oh, I still have to go talk to Sister Bikini, too. That's true. You mean because of the matching leather cord found around the victim's neck? Yeah. I bet it was one of those things she always wore. I've got this safe driving charm I've been wearing for over a year now. Because I got into an accident, yeah. In episode 4, yeah. If I ever got into an accident, it guarantees it'll be the other guy's fault. Isn't it supposed to stop you from having an accident in the first place? <laughs> Shit. This was found close to Dusky Bridge, wasn't it? Well, that's what the- that's what that artist guy said, yeah. Right after the defendant flew over the burning bridge. According to his testimony, she dropped it when she landed on the other side. But this crystal didn't belong to Iris. The crystal had dropped out of Miss Elise Dunham's staff. And there are traces of blood on it, too. The real question is what is it doing near the foot- what was it doing near the foot of Dusky Bridge? It was like a circus today in court. All thanks to this little sketch. And the risk of repeating myself, at the risk. You really ought to choose your friends more carefully, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Okay, I know Larry's a bit out there, but he genuinely wants to help Iris, I'm sure of that. He wouldn't have produced this for no good reason. You are nothing more than a marshmallow on the inside. The both of you. What? Hey, you want to hear something, pal? Come on, I know you do. Maggie says she's gonna buy me a new coat. Really? That's great, but with what money? She can't seem to hold a job. Yeah, uh, I think it's to say thanks for helping me out during their last case. Which means I can finally check out this stinky sweat-soaked rag. 
You mean, you don't have any special attachments to that coat. After all, the effort I took to mail it back to you from Germany. Oh my god, she took it, that's right. Ah, uh, well. I'll be sure to take good care of it once it's retired, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Well, she sure was a mysterious person. Her real name, her past, it's all a complete mystery. Still, it strikes me as odd. Why would someone who wishes to remain anonymous become an author? You know what probably happened? I bet she didn't know her books were going to be such a success. Well, that's what I think. Yeah, okay. You're, you're like, pointless to talk to at this point. Oh my god, okay. Maya. So these letters are written in blood? Oh yeah. What's worse is that it's the victim's blood. Huh? This is Miss Dunham's blood? We haven't done a detailed analysis, but it's looking that way, pal. How do you know that, then? What? Hmm. Most interesting. Phoenix Wright, I presume you know, don't you? Why Maya's name is written upside down? You know what? That was really bothering me, too. But I just came up with the answer. The result of my own special gumshoe investigation. Really? Do tell. Well, on the night of the murder, that stone lantern was upside down. Ahem. <clears throat> anyway, there's really only one logical explanation to this mystery. Miss Elise Dunham wrote these letters herself, in her own blood. You must be joking. It's impossible. From the writing in the victim's blood and the other clues left behind. Seems pretty likely that this garden was the scene of Miss Elise Dunham's, Dunham's murder. At least, that's our current theory on how the events took place, pal. What? That doesn't make sense, bro. There's no blood trail. So Miss Dunham was killed here? However you want to look at it, that's what people are saying now. Then... What Sister Bikini saw in the courtyard at the main temple was... Well, what was it? If that wasn't the scene of the crime, what did she see? What do you think, Miss Von Karma? Surely, a special gumshoe investigation would reveal the answer, no? But wait a sec. The bloody writing and all the other clues here. Someone could have easily set all that up after the murder, right? Oh, sorry, but that's not an option, pal. Uh, why not? How quickly you forget, Phoenix Wright. Ever since the incident occurred, this place has been completely inaccessible. So my theory of someone crossing the gorge with the snowmobile is, is becoming tangible, dude. Come on. Because Dusky Bridge was completely burned out. I was overseeing repairs to the bridge the whole time. No one came over here before me and my men. Which means no one could have planted all of this stuff here, pal. Uh, I can't think of a counter-argument to that. I knew it. I should have washed the blood off the lantern as soon as I got here. What are you talking about?! If this really was the scene of the crime, then I need to figure out exactly what it was that Bikini actually saw. Okay, then we need to go speak with... someone. We need to leave, man. And see if we can press, uh, Bikini some more. February 9th, Hazakura Temple, Main Gate. It seems you have a visitor. Mixed feelings, bro. Mixed feelings. I'll be quite honest with you. Mr. Wright! Iris, I'm really glad to see you, kinda. Godot managed to mobilize the police by claiming a state of emergency. Not him again. Never mind him. We've gotta hurry and unlock the sacred cavern. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. It's my fault someone so important to you is locked in there. Mr. Edgeworth. 
can we finish our conversation later? All right. Let's hurry to the inner temple then. I'll see you later, right? Oh, uh, wait, Edgeworth, I'm coming with you guys. Sorry, right. I can't allow you to come with us. What? I hate to be the one to break it to you, but Maya Faye is in a rather delicate position. What do you mean by a delicate position? This isn't simply a rescue mission, right? It's also an investigation. That being the case, we can't allow members of the public to interfere. Oh, c come on, Edgeworth! If anything happens, you'll be the first to know. Please understand, right? But this is my- Mr. Wright! All that matters is that Mystic Maya is rescued, correct? I- Listen to the voice of reason for a change, Phoenix Wright. From now on, consider anything beyond Dusky Bridge to be off-limits. We'll be going now. Excuse us. Knowing- Knowing Edgeworth, bro, he- he knows what he's doing. You know, he's not an enemy, bro. He is a- he is a friend. Yeah. This is no time to be standing around, Phoenix Wright. Aren't there other things that demand your attention? She's right. Thanks. For rem for, for reminding me. Time to go press this lady again. Where is she? February 9th, Hazakura Temple, Main Hall. Oh. Sister Bikini looks like she's shrunk some since I last saw her. Her back pain, bro. How about you whip her into shape on Karma? Don't be so rude, Phoenix Wright. What's wrong, Sister Bikini? My, my, my! Hello, you two! How are you doing? <laughs> oh! From the sound of that sigh, I guess she's still pretty down. Iris was just here, you know. She was accompanied by that handsome, crimson-clad prince. She talking about Edgeworth? It was just a courtesy call. I wasn't allowed to talk with her at all. Oh dear. It's all my fault that this happened. Poor Iris. She was worried about my back, would you believe? What have I done to her? Only what you had to do, sister. You bravely and truthfully testified about what you saw. There's no shame in that. And we'll see, and we'll see to it that your testimony was made, wasn't made in vain. Well, I don't hear anyone else by saying that. Mr. Blue Suits doesn't seem to share your opinion, I see. Huh? Me? Uh, uh. Oh, yes. You did great, Sister Bikini. Absolutely spectacular. <laughs> you two are the only ones who have said that to me! I can't shake the feeling that I just became, I just became a shill to a shrew. Do you have a problem, Phoenix Wright? Sure. She was brave to testify so truthfully like that. But I know she's hiding something. Guess it's time to break those psych locks of hers. This is implying that I have them all, yes? Or it's basically just saying that's the priority right now. Take that! Take that. All right. So basically the first thing to present now is Miss Elise Dunham's uh, thing that represents that she is the master of the curane channeling technique because if you actually look at this thing at the top, does it say? Misty Faye's image is obscured by gravy. So it doesn't necessarily say that the top thing is the curane logo or whatever. That's what Maya says. We'll see though. Elise Dunham. Sister Bikini, the truth is becoming increasingly clear to me. I'm convinced that Miss Elise Dunham had a special significance to this temple. As to why she had a special significance, I believe it has to do with her true identity. What on earth are you talking about? She she was Mystic Mystic Elise was an author, just an author of picture books, to be honest. I had my suspicions almost immediately after I met her. S suspicions Yes, but I didn't have any evidence to support my theory though. But now I do. This piece of evidence proved Miss Dunham's true identity. Let's go home. Miss Dunham had this charm with her at all times. Gog! Where did you- This isn't some cheap good luck charm either. The- 
Then, the, what do you think it is, Mr. Wright? Wh what could a talisman like that possibly mean? It's a talisman, is it? Interesting. O oops! This thing speaks volumes about who Miss Doonham really was. This talisman and one other item unequivocally prove Miss Doonham's true identity. The painting is obscured by this gravy stain at the moment. N -n Nani? Nani? But at the top, yeah. But well, this scroll shows the master of the Curain channeling technique. The crest at the top is the sign of that honorable title. The very same crest that adorns the talisman the victim carried with her. Ah! This crest is reserved for the master of Curain. Curain, whatever. Who on earth told you that nonsense? I've got no idea what you're talking about. The new master. My fate told me. What? What? You, you mean that Avalat is Misty Fay's daughter? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. In fact, since her eldest daughter passed away, Maya is Misty Fay's sole successor. Yeah. <laughs> Mystic Misty! Okay. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! That was easy! Let's go! Yes! Yes! Mystic Elise graced us with her presence about a week ago. When she showed me that talisman with the mark on it, well, I nearly fainted. No one had seen her since she disappeared 17 years ago, after all. What is the significance of this talisman, sister? The Kurain talisman? It's the symbol of the Master of Kurain. The bearer must carry it with them always until their death. Ooh. Until their death. So Elise Dunham was really Maya's mother, huh? It was just a guess, bro, I swear. It was just a guess. Who the hell are you? Are you Misty Fay, to be honest? But I was right. She was Misty Fay, the master of the Curain channeling technique. The truth comes out at last. Looks like we're making some headway here. Tell me, sister. After 17 years, why did she choose to show herself now? Because... Something happened that called her out of hiding. What happened? Well... Ooh. What, what's happening? It, it can't be. Uh, earthquake! Dude, this is... All my eyes hurt. Ah! That was that was Phoenix too. <laughs> oh my goodness! The, the, the inner temple. This kind of trauma might. The inner temple. The, the, the sacred cavern of the training hall might be very good. Cave in. Wh what? Maya. To be continued. To be continued. To be contin. No. Okay. Okay. It. It seems to have. Passed. What? We can't just stand here and do nothing. Let's go. What? Where? To the inner temple, of course. Where else? <laughs> Sister Bikini, we'll finish this later, all right? Of course. You, you run along now. People may have been hurt. I must get some first aid kits ready. Yes. Come on then, Phoenix Wright. They won't bar you from entering as long as I'm with you. Yeah, okay. Th thank you. Love you. <laughs> right, at the, right at that moment, I had the worst feeling in my gut. We just had an earthquake. I wonder if he's all right, too. Let's go! You look worried. Are you thinking about Miles Edgeworth? Yes! Come on, let's go. Why are you making me go there? Manually. We've gotta hurry. I'm trying! Right. What are you doing here? Wh what are you doing here? <laughs> How could I have? How do you expect us to understand if you don't speak up? Ow! Why am I the- What?! She's gone. No. The defendant. I knew- Okay. Oh my god. The defendant. Iris. She's gone. Gone where? 
She fled. She escaped. What? Talk to me, brother. So it was just now, during the... It's easy to see Edgeworth's one and only weakness. His fear of earthquakes. Should have known better. I should have known better than to escort the defendant alone. As soon as the ground started shaking, everything went dark before my eyes, and I stupidly passed out. That incident haunts you to this day, doesn't it? It's no excuse for letting the suspect get away. I can't believe I let it happen. Right. The inner temple area is a dead end, so she could have only escaped to this side. We haven't seen her. And we need to get a manhunt underway now, and search Eagle Mountain from top to bottom. Heavenly Hall, maybe? Wait, Edgeworth. Have you thoroughly checked the inner temple yet? Don't be ridiculous. Why would I? The inner temple is like an island. There's no way to escape but to cross... No, that's not it. Iris isn't the type of person to run away, Edgeworth. What are you talking about? Sister Bikini mentioned something when we were with her. She said that the sacred cavern might have caved in because of the quake. Then you think Iris might have gone to the inner temple to check on the situation? Listen, Edgeworth, I'm sure she's at the inner temple. A manhunt is not necessary. Right. Let's not waste any more time. We need to get to the training hall sacred cavern now. All right. Let's go. Ooh! Eat. February 9th Inner Temple Training Hall. Come on, man. Fortunately, the Sacred Cavern hadn't caved in yet. But what we found is something none of us could have ever expected. This doesn't make sense, bro. What does this mean, man? Uh, how can there be... Even more locks? That's the thing too, bro. Everybody can see them. What's the meaning of this? I oughta just... Iris. Iris, please tell me. What the hell is going on? To be continued, right? This is heat. This is heat. This is pissing me off, man. Damn. Okay. Obviously part two investigation, right? So this, this episode is only going to be four parts because every single part has had two sections. So if, even if, okay, part four, to be fair, could have three sections because episode five, of the first game, which, mind you, was, like, DLC, or whatever, right? For the, like, DS release, or 3DS, whatever. The final part, or day, whatever it was back then, had three sections. One was Emma, the second was also Emma, kind of, and the third was Gant, I think. That trial day had three sections, and it was the last part or day of that episode. I wouldn't be surprised if part 4 of episode 5 of Trials and Tribulations had three parts. Because this is huge, man. This is bonkers. I have a feeling part 3-2 is going to be the last investigation of the episode. Because frankly, what we're going to find in there should be it. I, I mean, I, I, I don't know what else we're going to find in this section could not cover the rest of the episode, you know what I mean? So what did we learn this episode? At least Dunham is Misty Fay. Was Misty Fay whatever. Something obviously happened in the training hall in the inner temple. Someone smeared gravy all over Misty Fay, so someone obviously hates Misty Fay, right? Potentially, maybe? Maya is still not to be found. It seems like this is just a repeat <laughs> of episode four of Justice for All. And Iris, bro, is the devil. Dolly Hawthorne, whatever her real name is. She is the devil incarnate, bro. And by far is worse than any other character in the Ace Attorney universe, in my opinion. I'm so happy all of, like, 
the courtroom characters are like in investigation. I'm investigating with Franziska, which is so fun. Edgeworth is helping out. Godot is just some mysterious dude that holds a grudge against Phoenix because Maya, me, sorry, Mia Fey died two years ago. I think. We'll, we'll hopefully hear, hear him out again, but Larry is also a pain in the ass. I'm so happy he was not really a huge part of this investigation. He might be in this one, though. Okay, so the, now the main objective in 3-2 investigation is saving Maya. There is absolutely no way we don't get her at the end of part 3-2 investigation. She has to get out of there, if she even is in there. She is going to transcend what it means to be a spirit medium. I guarantee you she's in there training, bro. She got her 30,000, uh, chance, or, uh, whatever you're supposed to do. This episode is brilliant so far. Who you're playing as, too. I got to investigate as Edgeworth. I got to be in the courtroom as Edgeworth, dude. So innovative. For, like, what I assume is the last trilogy of, like, the Phoenix Wright trilogy, right? Uh, but man. Whatever. That's another section down. We got three more to go. Or four. Or five. I don't know. Along with finishing up Ace Attorney, you see what else I'm playing. So if you want to see any of that, subscribe here on YouTube or follow me over at Twitch with the link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have an excellent day and are staying healthy and safe. And I will see you in the next investigation.